Well, you're in Stockholm, you must try the subway because it's art in every station. You could spend your whole vacation traveling around the subway and experience art. But this is my favorite station. It's uh, about an old castle who was standing up on the street above this uh, station. And a lot of pieces from the station are from the castle. It's really unexpected to find so much art in the subway. I mean, it used to be gray and dull, but here it's magic. There is bits and pieces from old building and the castle in the area. And this fountain over there, it's about 400 years old. And some pieces are newer. I think it's great. Instead of you going to art in a dusty museum, art is coming to you in your daily life. Welcome to Stockholm Subway. There is some oil spill. You have to watch out for that. But of course it's fake. There is Hercules with his lion thing on the head. It's from the old castle, 1600 something. There's a memory from when they built the station. It's it have to cut down trees, and they stopped it. Come along, it's more art. Trilobies in the floor. Here's a sign telling us that uh, you're 36 meters under, and it's made by Ulrich Samuelsson. If you speak Swedish, you can read all about it here. We have art all over. I think it's around 200 stations filled with art. You have to buy a one-day ticket, and you can travel through all the stations on the same ticket. You don't have to visit one single museum in your time here in this town. The subway is enough. Hercules. Now I will take you to one of my favorite spots. It's a hot dog stand. It's the best in Sweden. No, no, it's the best in the world. And it's not an ordinary place. They have hot dogs from totally all the world, served in the original way. Now you can see here, they have just everything. Many German and Polish sausage, Hungary. They have from Hungary, Hungary, and, and all different kinds of flesh and uh, very strong ones, it's with the red dot. Good dog, hey, good dog, good dog. What can you recommend today, Dara? Yeah, we're going to go to a different way. We're going to go to Milano Steiker and Milano. I asked him what he could recommend and what's best today. Yeah, maybe some milk here. I just ordered a Lebekäs. It's, it's wheel with sauerkraut and a little sausage in, in a French bread. There's, of course, no ketchup. Don't ask for ketchup. He hates ketchup. He will put in the really strong mustard today. My name is Papa D. I'm a singer, artist, sometimes DJ. We're walking around in my favorite part of Stockholm called Södermalm, which basically means southern part of town. This part of town is my favorite part of town because it's slightly more chilled, it's more relaxed than other part of Stockholm. It's a little bit bohemian, it's, uh, there's a lot of cool galleries, bars, pubs, restaurants, cool little shops, second-hand shops and markets. I would compare it to East Village in New York maybe, or maybe Notting Hill a couple of years ago in London. I'm gonna take you around to some really nice spots. 
So just come follow me. Now we're going to go to one of my favorite shops here uh, in Stockholm, in this area called Söder Malm. This is a record shop, but it's more than a record shop. It's a cafe, it's a meeting place, it's a place where a lot of cool people hang out. I'm a music addict and I'm a DJ, and this is where I find a lot of records. Magnus! Hey, Daniel. Allt bra? Allt bra. Follow me. So this is one of my favorite Stockholm hangouts. This is a record store, and they have everything that you need in music. Uh, I would say they don't have so much Western pop, but music from any country, folk music. I don't really like the term world music, but they have loads of world music. Uh, they also have vinyl, some secondhand stuff. They have books, weird instruments that I do not know how to, like, stuff. I do a radio show every week for National Radio, two hours. Uh, I play a lot of club music from around the world, and this is where I go to get good advice and to find nice records. Thank you. I'm a, I'm a mad record collector. I've been collecting since I was 10. It's a bit sick, it's a bit of a disease, but I love it. Some nights, they have some great... Uh, you do a dance lesson thing, you have a tango thing going on nighttime, right? And we have a milonga on Thursdays. And then we have some dance courses sometimes on Sunday afternoons, like West African dance, belly dance, or salsa dance, and uh, queer tango dance also. I, I, I come home late at night sometimes, and I just see all these couples dancing tango, and it just looks great in here. <laughs> So basically we should, it doesn't look familiar, <laughs> we should end up somewhere there. That's why people can't find this place. That's what makes it, makes it so special and exclusive. You can't find it. This is a place called Bull and Barso. This is really one of my favorite, favorite places. Uh, it's a little bit hidden away. It's a little bit difficult to find. It used to be really difficult. Nobody could find this place. But now, it's still a hidden secret, but people do find it. Uh, you can play Bull. There's a really nice restaurant. And it's just a really chilled out and loungy place in the Stockholm Harbor area, southern part of town. If you come to Stockholm, I think you might you have to find the right spots. Uh, some people come to Sweden and think that Sweden is, is a cold place. People are a bit difficult to talk to. That's because you're in the wrong spot. What's good about this place is that you, you feel like you're in the archipelago somewhere, but you're really like five minutes from the center of Stockholm. But it really feels like you're hidden away somewhere in the countryside. It's really nice. OK. The infamous Afro skin and Indian back skin. Skin bin again. Now I'm going to take you to one of my favorite bars, one of my favorite clubs. It's called Musabake. Just come follow me. One of the great things about uh, Stockholm this time of year, summertime, is that it's almost one o'clock and it's still bright outside. The sun never really sets. We have Musabake, the outdoors terrace. They got a really nice outdoors bar. They got a club, but nobody's in there because we're Vikings and we hang out, even though it's a little bit chilly. The beautiful building behind us is such a great place for music. Uh, in the theater in there, Södertjörten, they, they got a really great live scene. The thing about this house is that it's full of passion for music. And it's got a really cool crowd most of the time. Musabake, Södertjörten, it's beautiful. 